Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to Castlevania Judgment with Robber Link. Hello. Alright, where we left off, we finished Carmilla's story and we unlocked Cornell, so let's continue as him. I believe Cornell actually played a bit. Yeah, you played Cornell and Golem? Yeah, probably because they at least looked kind of cool <laughs> and not just fantasy modern dress Emo. anime-esque emos <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know how to describe the whole overall theme of the others but like I hope people understand what I'm trying to say <laughs> also there is still the cat on my lap Julian he was on my lap the entirety of the last episode with Carmilla <laughs> he, he got up and moved around a bit but never left my lap and he's still here purring I, I swear to god we're gonna switch games when I'm the player and he's going to stay on my lap. <laughs> the ancient curse once befell a tribe of warriors, turning all its people into beasts. Give me the line. Only Cornell, the Blue Crescent Moon, as he was called, could control his transformation. Hmm. But one day, while out training, Cornell's power ran amok trapping him in beast form. When he came to, a man stood before him. Who could it be? The suspense. Right on, right time. on time. Welcome to the Time Rift. A rift in time? Is that why I can't return to human form? I love how his whole face is, is so correct. animated. But this place also holds an answer you seek. The curse of the beast men. Release me. My name is Aeon. Shall we begin the first trial? Again, what? What are we doing here? <laughs> Ready? And why do I need to fight you? Fight! <laughs> I mean, I'm perfectly willing to, but if absolutely necessary. Also, I I did want to say I don't know what game Cornell is from, which Castlevania game or whatever. Hmm. All right, not too bad. Interestingly enough, Cornell seems to be not really a bad guy in this, given what he said to the others so far, like from the other playthroughs. Yeah, I just the only thing I really remember is with Golem. He's like, "You mock my suffering." <laughs> right, they were just having a conversation. <laughs> just, it's not like all children of the night are evil. Curse good. Curse can turn me human. <laughs> Like, oh uh, no, that's the not. Road is now open. That's not what curses Search are known for. for. That which you long for. Uh. You know what? I bet this guy, Cornell. I bet he. I bet he listens to Power Wolf. You. Because that's like literally me. his whole theme. Right. You ready to see my specialty? Okay, I didn't want to interrupt them, but uh, is that like a band or something? Ready? Yes. <laughs> they kind of have a werewolf motif. But it's also very heavy um, Catholic metal. <laughs> Interesting combination. It really is. Whoop. Okay, I almost got myself knocked off the edge. Yeah, they have songs like Blessed and Possessed. <laughs> um... Sanctified with dynamite. <laughs> also, I was thinking he's he's called like Blue Crescent Moon. Why wouldn't it be Blue Full Moon? I mean, actually, yeah, werewolves are. You know, the whole thing is the full moon. Yeah, that's when they transform, or at least that's when they're usually forced to. But I guess not in Cornell's case. Maybe that's why, because he has control over it when hmm. he's not in the time rift. Hmm. No one will listen to reason from the mouth of a beast. I am the morning sun. Come to vanquish this horrible night. Are you people even trying to Ready? talk to each other? <laughs> like, I'm not the knight. What are you talking about? <laughs> Just because I'm dressed in black, metal armor, and have glowing red eyes and long, sharp claws. <laughs> okay, okay, maybe I can see why you would assume I'm bad. Ow. Stop hitting me with wolves. <laughs> That's supposed to be my thing. <laughs> like, 
I was just thinking, it's like, it's such a shame I can't untransform. Oh well. Probably because the budget doesn't allow for me to have a secondary model. Alright, what is your ultimate? Uppercuts followed with, uh, whatever you call that. And then Exorcism. <laughs> and victory! How's that? I fight for the sake of my sister. Do you have a sister? Yes. And I will say nothing more to give any context. It's like, yes, I just killed her. <laughs> but no, I know <laughs> she's from a different Those game. Garments. Are you clergy? That's no business of yours, beast. You must tell me. Can your holy arts cure my affliction? Your curse has been with us since ancient times. Nothing can be done. Death is your only salvation. Wow. <laughs> now hold on, this seems a bit drastic. But I cannot let you defeat me. Yeah, I, I really appreciate you, you know, being look. uncertain and, but, you know, willing to look into it, you know, for a possible s solution that doesn't involve killing me. You know, I really appreciate all that time and effort. <laughs> it's like, nope, no cure. Sorry. You need to die now. Ugh. Spikes. Spikes. Okay, so that's the guard breaker. Oh. Hmm. How did you follow my movements? Whoops, that's not what I meant to do. I left myself a bit vulnerable there. Aha. Just a bit. Whoa. Alright, so I think if I hold A, I'll do that. Yeah, okay, so that's the other thing where... Okay, yeah, it's draining his meter, but... I should be more powerful now. Whee! She's dead. Is there truly no hope I can ever be freed? Oh well, guess you'll have to die. Guess oh. I'll have to stand here and look awesome with these red lights. <laughs> also, finally, the cat has vacated Vito's lap. I was about to mention. It's like, what if he was my good luck charm? Listen to reason <laughs> from the mouth of a beast. You just get pummeled right here. Me as you would a grown man. I do not want your mercy. Well, let's hope that's not the case and I can still win. Hmm. Easy enough. I don't know how I did that. It works. <laughs> I don't even know what you did. Hmm. Also, it's kind of weird how he has, like, vanishing moves. But at the same time, he has moves that make him, like, really vulnerable. Yeah. Ah, I thought he was going to stop at the second strike. No matter, I'll just keep hitting him. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I guess I'll have to hit you harder. Guess you'll die. Woohoo! That was nice. Hmm. Not all children of the night are evil. You like, just murdered a child. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I like how at the end I had him face towards the screen and he's like, hey, did I do good? Here, pet me. <laughs> it's like, ah, uh, who's a good boy? Who just killed someone <laughs> in cold blood? Ready? Was it you? Yes, it was. Fight. It's like it wasn't quite as apparent in this run, but uh, he was very overconfident and in need of uh, being put in his place. That's right. I had forgotten about that. <laughs> Somehow. Come on, stop missing the zombies. They're, they're literally shambling at a snail's pace. <laughs> Yet somehow you can't always hit them. Okay, so apparently they blow up into poison or something. Yeah, I've noticed that. Uh, let me out of the way. Don't want to get slapped. Hello. Oh, hi. Excuse me. Okay, apparently I have to use the evasion thing, otherwise I can't outrun it. Yeah, because those, you know, smooth hooves of his that let him just do that. Ouch. Just, you know, turn on the spot. Ow. <laughs> Over here. Whack. Okay, a little too early. I get it. Nope. I can't lose. Oh, I really need to be good on the timing if I'm not spamming at him, I guess. I guess the cat was your good luck, Tron. <laughs> I 
But I beat Eric just fine. Yeah, he left after you beat Eric. Did he? No. Oh. How My sense of time is, uh, distorted, I think. By Aeon? Yes. <laughs> I'll blame on the time rift. Also, poison, screw you. Ah, oh, come on. What are. Do they have armor or something? That they're not interruptible? Maybe. Well, I took way more damage than I should have. I think it might have also to do with the fact that you're probably only hitting like one at a time for half of the attacks. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but uh, should work. If I can get out of the way. Okay, he got out of the way after being hit. See that? Does that give you increased armor? I think so. Because that really didn't hurt you that much. <laughs> to even like knock you down. So that's good to know. Yep. What have we here? A little doggy who seems to have slipped his leash. A vampire? Leave me be. You already killed me next. You, you already killed me oh, last time. Are you sure? Guess you're not interested in what I heard from Death about your little problem. What does Death have to do with it? Does he have a bone for me? <laughs> if you want a treat, you have to obey. <laughs> so be a good doggy and play dead. I like how his first response was, a vampire, leave me be. Like, <laughs> ah, vampire. I, I don't want to deal with you. My day's been bad enough as it is, for Pete's sake. Whoop. I thought I was going to do the teleport move, but uh, apparently I didn't. There we go. Teleport move. Teleports above you. <laughs> this is extremely personal. Lady. Oh, come on. Dang it. I don't know if she guarded or if I just didn't wait long enough. Uh, please stop that. It's not my job to drag my face across the floor. That's Maria. Maria? Yeah. yeah, Maria's job. I didn't quite mean to do this, but that's fine. It's really good at breaking their guard, apparently. Ah. Death. Does he hold the key? <laughs> well, I guess I'll just need to die and find out. <laughs> so I'll say, Saifa did say, death is your only salvation. <laughs> no one will listen to reason from the mouth of the beast. You're awfully close to that thing, buddy. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so there's stage eight, so there's two more after this. Stop that. I care not for your fire. No flying. Into the poison for you, and you can stay there as long as you'd like. Whoop. Oh no. Uh, I'm pressing the wrong button. Okay then. Eh. There we go. You can die in there. <laughs> that won't work. Is sitting in poison. Oh, does it not kill them? I wonder if maybe it doesn't. Because she was at, like, no health. My does it just, like, drain them to, like, one health? Probably. That's unfortunate. It could be so much more useful. Darn birds are tweeting outside. You wish to fight me? I will do what I must to those who stand in my way. That's not a very clear answer, but I, uh, I guess I'll take it. Ah, like, uh, yes. Shoddily contrived reasons for characters to fight each other for the sake of the game. Aha! I thought he got me, but I got him. Oh, God. Good thing I guarded against that. Eh. I must be hitting it too early because it didn't even make a sound like it blocked hmm. the ultimate. You're doing pretty good with them, though. Why am I... There we go, that's what I wanted. So, were you practicing more than just before this session? No, I, I basically only looked up the uh, the moveset to see if there was something I was missing. 
And I think there was like the thing where I could hold A to charge for him, and that's the other thing that drains his meter. Hmm. Because that's pretty much the only thing I found. Oh wait, there was one other thing. Apparently you can double jump, but it's not that useful. Hmm. But yeah, because with both Carmilla last episode and this episode, you're doing pretty good. Yeah, but I was doing pretty good as Eric too. I found you. That's true. What do you know of this curse? I guess you just have been getting better. Dark arts we command. Your affliction can be ready. Truly? You swear it? If you but I won't, Log. Now, come with me. I swear fealty. I trust what you say of the curse, but I do not trust you. I will find the way on my own. Then literally, why did you come talk to me? <laughs> Fight! Stop that. That's annoying. I'm going to gnaw on your bones. <laughs> Every single one of them. <laughs> What was that? He just put his staff scythe thing down and then tried to punch me. <laughs> it was not very effective. I like how he did it though, like... Aha! Got him. Oh, and he's dead. Oh, wow, he is. Well, boys, we did it. We killed death. Why does he not have feet? <laughs> he just have little... He has little nubby points. <laughs> yeah, just... So there is a way to end this torment. Might never find it, though. That's for a different game, because we don't have another model for me. A human-looking one. Is this game even... Does this game even fit to the canon timeline? Probably not. <laughs> I accept the soul key. Four yet remain. Because it's kind of like a spin-off thing. Hmm. Because, I mean, they had to make this whole Time Rift thing just to explain all these different characters being in one place at right. one time. <sighs> to be fair, did they ever explain all the different people in Super Smash Brothers? Uh, I, I think it's kind of explained by, like... <laughs> Actually, you're right. By the intro to, the, like, the first one where it's, like, that you know... they're toys. Yeah, and they're just the trophies then in yeah. Melee and Beyond. And they communicated that without even saying a word. Well, that's how laboratories for you. If, yeah, we're we're probably gonna play Kirby sixty four at some point soon, and that is full of nonverbals. Hmm. And that's why Brawl has, like, the entire story is nonverbals the whole way through. It's just, yeah. I don't know if it is anymore, but it was the Hal Laboratory way apparently, which I appreciated. It was fun. Um. Oh yeah, I was gonna say with the whole thing like. Cornell, they didn't make like an art human model for him. Right. It just makes me think of, uh, I think in Overwatch, I heard that because the way she works, that she has two forms, I think in Overwatch, Diva, I heard had like a whole ton of bugs they had to work out because, you know, when her mech gets destroyed, she has to jump out of it and be right. basically a separate character. Right. And uh, yeah, that's that can be hard to pull off without uh, bugs happening. Hmm. So I heard that was one of the more difficult things to program properly. But yeah, that's the end of Cornell's story, apparently. It was also pretty short. It was just under 20 minutes, it looks like. Wow. And we unlocked Trevor. So I guess we'll be doing his story next time. Good. Bye for now, folks. Goodbye.